Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Reef. And I'm Arub. And this is our channel, Lens with Benefits. And on Instagram, we are Travel Destinations. So welcome to our third video on our channel in which we are vlogging our journey to the Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. This is our second destination in Malaysia, um, traveling from Kuala Lumpur. And this trip was definitely a breathtaking trip indeed. For so. sure. Mm -hmm. Just a heads up, we are working on our audio. We know that the audio was not the best and unfortunately all of our Malaysia content is going to reflect the same due to the GoPro footage as well as um, Sharif's camera. Uh, but we will do better in our future travels to improve on that, but we will still try to put out content that reflects our... No. Mm -mm. Just cut this middle part. <laughs> I'll just say it one more time. Okay. Um, what was he saying? We will res respond and get back to you. Why do I keep stuttering? Uh, but please feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns, any feedback in the comment section below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. All right, thanks guys and enjoy our video. Yes, thank you, bye. So our next destination in Malaysia took us to Cameron Highlands from KL. We opted for the quicker route which takes you on a windy route when coming off the highway at Tapa. Avoid if your car is sick. It is very, very windy. It's about a three hour ride and be prepared for nothing but twists and turns. You'll see some scenic views like a waterfall which is a 30 minute drive onto the windy route with a small market right next to it. So we're just walking around Cameron Highlands and then we got some curry puffs, potato curry puffs and then I got this uh, bandan coconut roll which we're going to have later. They spelled my name wrong but that's okay, they tried. Um, and then we're having our pandan coconut cake. It kind of got like ugly looking as we were eating it, uh, but it's quite nice actually, uh, not overpowering. This is what it's supposed to look like before we cut into it. The current time is 7, 12 a.m. Uh, me and Tree have been up since three because Jet lag, but drove up this one lane road all the way up here. Sharice over there setting up the drone. And this is the view. We came up for sunrise. And there's a few people doing some engagement shoots over here, so. tea leaves. So crazy. Okay, we're gonna go to the Boti Garden now. All right, let's go. So we got in line. So the current time is 7.59. We got in line at like uh, 7.40 for the Boti Gardens. Ready? So pretty. Oh my gosh. Isn't it so pretty? Feels like the stairway to heaven. <laughs> so pretty. So we are like one of the first people in line here. They have a bunch of different flavored stuff. Right. So this is the green tea tiramisu, an Oreo um, donut, the chendol cake, some s garlic bun, 
uh, chicken pies, uh, salmon puffs, or sardine puffs, egg tarts, uh, chicken sausage, and then we got um, green tea, Earl Grey, and then Sharif got a lychee mango? Uh, lychee rose. Oh, lychee rose, okay. Yep. Here we are. I'm gonna step out over here to show you guys. Breakfast with a view. Okay, go. Really good. That was um, 134 Malaysian ringgit. So not bad, it was like uh, a little bit less than $30. So yeah, not bad. Okay, so Shri, how would you rate the Bow Tea Garden as far as, um, okay, look, let's start with the tea and the food. Out of 10. Tea? Oh, I want to give it a sign. I got the leafy little Oh, here, pick it up. Pick the... Yep. Really good. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. And I love these. Um, food wise, I'd give like a 9 out of 10. It's actually really good. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, it has a wide variety of spread. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ba. How would you rate the, the tea here out of 10? Um, I'd say nine. Nine out of ten? Yeah. Okay, and then what about the food? Food was nine. This is, this is nice and good and really, really good. Yeah? So out of ten, how what would you rate it? Nine. Nine? Nine? Okay. Okay, good. Um, so I think the tea, definitely like, the, you can tell the quality and we're actually like watching the people pick the tea leaves in the plantation right now. So that is I would definitely say like a ten. The food for me, it was good, but I would say it was like an 8.5. Um, the options we got were really nice and the cakes were not too sweet, so that was nice too. Um, yeah, alright, we're gonna go ahead and adventure a little bit more. Cool. We're getting some gelato. Sharif, you got which flavor? Lychee. Lychee in the mango. This is you? Oh, I thought it was gonna be lychee. Oh. Oh, okay. And then I got the tea tart. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then Pa got the peppermint chocolate chip. <laughs> so our next stop was the Flora Park. You cannot drive directly up. They ask that you park your car in a lot and pay a small cash fee to ride in the back of a truck to take you up to the Flora Park. I mean, at first it was 50 ringgit, which I thought was quite expensive, but once we entered, it's actually really worth it. There's a lot to do and see here. I mean, I feel like if you are a Malaysian native, 50 ringgit is a lot. Yeah, but as an American person traveling into Malaysia, it's quite, quite affordable. Too late to record Cherie. Um, but we got really thirsty at the top of the hike. Oh, we're still at the Flora Park. They have this little cafe at the top. And so I got like a strawberry lemon drink. It's actually really good. Um, Cause Cameron is known for their strawberries as well, as well as their tea. So it's nice. And then Sharif got, what did you give him? Something with honey, black currant, and... Lychee? Uh, yeah, it was lychee. Look, there's one right there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we are at the peak of the Flora Park. Yeah, so I don't know, like, you climb up the stairs at the very top. After you trek up this huge uh, windy thing that reminds me of the thing in San Fran, the little road that twists. <laughs> and yeah, turns. we were like quite out of breath. This is the staircase. And once you climb the staircase, boom. 
So our final spot in Cameron Highlands was the Lavender Gardens. <laughs> you can go strawberry picking at Lavender Gardens if you want to, however we didn't choose to because the strawberries were pretty much all gone. At the Lavender Gardens, they have a wide variety of different desserts and cakes for you to choose from at their cafe. We went for a strawberry milkshake, which we were both impressed with. Sharif rated this as an 8 out of 10, and it was about 8 ringgit. Thanks so much for watching our video. We had such a blast exploring Cameron Highlands. Uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below, wherever he's gonna put it. Um, and also, <laughs> also please follow us on our new Instagram. Um, it is at Travel Destinations. We'll put it in the uh, details below as well. Once again, guys, thanks for watching our video. Be on the lookout for our next video and stay tuned. And <laughs> Your lips were so crusty in the cold. <laughs> Poor one. Bruh. Whatever, bro. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching our Camera Highlands video. In the meantime, be on the lookout for our next video. But please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. Yes. And with that said, I'm Reef. I'm Aru. And we're out. <laughs>